Hey guys, welcome to GCN. My name is Manas. And I'm Nikhil. And we have some more rumors today about the PlayStation Neo, which according to Digital Foundry will release this year. You think we'd stop having rumors after E3, but no. Yeah, they didn't announce anything at E3, so... Gaming has now finally become a tabloid. Rumors, rumors about the Scorpio stopped. Well, anyways, here's the quote from uh, Eurogamer. Several sources have indicated to me that PlayStation Neo launches this year despite its E3 no-show. If that is the case, it'll be interesting to see how developers utilize its resources and whether 4K really is the focus. Is 4K really the focus though? It, is it? It has to be because uh, Scorpio is full-on focusing on the 4K. But will Neo be able to uh, do 4K as well? It might be able to. The PlayStation 4 is kind of pushing 1080p right now. With 60 frames, right? Not really. Well, so, if it's not 60 frames, then uh -uh, I'm out. Yeah. And I, I don't think even the Scorpio will be able to run 4K with uh, 60, 60 frames because the 1080, the GTX 1080 has eight teraflops. The and I don't think it will run everything at 4K at 60 FPS. And the Scorpio has six teraflops. And the PS4K is supposed to have four teraflops. So that's a lot of teraflops, but not enough for 4K. So yeah. flying around. But it's kind of a smart move by Sony because they need to get a head start because the Scorpio is coming next year and they need a powerful console this year if they're doing VR as well. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, they are doing VR, but if uh, Scorpio is coming out, why not hold you know, yeah, and hold back a little bit for a while and then get the Scorpio because it's a more powerful console. But then again, PS4 does have more uh, exclusive Better exclusives right now yeah. and it has VR coming right now. Yeah, but then though again, I don't know how good VR is going to be. Yeah, even I don't... I mean, it could be good or may not be good, but we'll have to wait to see. Also, another thing that's uh, in favor of Microsoft is that Scorpio is significantly more powerful and also it has backwards compatibility. So if you do decide it, to... It has backward compatibility and it is future-proof. Yeah, I mean, all the games that will come later on, if there's a different iteration after the Scorpio, they'll still work on the Scorpio. Yeah. So, I mean, Phil Spencer had said, so unless there is a major change in GPU architecture or something like that, so... What if Microsoft is just changing its own shade and becoming the best of all of us? Uniting people, uniting PC with the console. They kind of are. And with the ending the console war. With the, with the cross-play With the cross-play feature. And the play anywhere, like if you get a digital copy of... Copy. If you get a digital copy of either Xbox or on a PC. You can play on both. Yeah. Only Just for people. Microsoft exclusive games for now. Uh, Phil Spencer said that he'll push more third-party developers to do the same, but for yeah. now it's first-party developers. Plus a lot of the Windows games are now trying to migrate to Steam as well. Yeah, so that they can cater to a bigger audience because Windows Store is exceptionally bad. Like yeah. Now only one thing Microsoft needs to stop doing is Make Windows 10 needs to stop pestering me. Get a hint. Yeah, I don't think they will. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the news for today. Not much, only more rumors, which is all we have. So. And this is where you will find the best rumors of the best gaming news. And if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to hit like. If you haven't already, I mean, subscribe to our channel, please. It'll <laughs> and as always, share this video with your friends. Bye.